Okay, my YouTube friends, here we are for an almost unboxing video. I said almost because I don't want to spoil your time by while cutting the box, but uh, I just did it. And actually, uh, that's going to be the surprise. I didn't open really uh, this box. I prepared myself with my nice coffee. I know that some of you like those nice coffee from Italy, France, Europe. They come from Italy, which is my best uh, coffee um, brand. And I'm going to enjoy my coffee while uh, making this almost unboxing. Mm, really nice coffee. Uh, almost uh, unboxing with you. So you read the title. And first of all, I've got to tell you uh, that uh, in Europe, if we have something that we do probably a little bit better than the United States, uh, that has to be those boxes, you know. Boker uh, make those really nice boxes from the Boker Plus line. Uh, Mikkel, I didn't know him, uh, he does really nice also boxes. Uh, and when you buy some high-end knives in the United States or even uh, production, uh, it has to be high-end production like uh, ZT, they come with those, uh, you know, really, they're, they're wrong, those boxes, but whatever. That's not the, the, the purpose uh, of this video. It came also with this T-shirt, which is kind of nice, a nice, uh, nice material with the blades from uh, Williamson, Urban Tactical. Really nice. So, yeah, uh, first impression is nice, uh, but I didn't buy the box, nor did I buy the T-shirt. So let's see what's inside, and that is the real, real surprise. So, what do we have here? Mr. Hugging, yeah, my friend. Uh, Mikkel accepted to do a custom uh, order for me, which uh, these days he doesn't. Uh, he went for either mid-tech uh, knives uh, or sometimes he, he, he produces also some custom and uh, he makes them whatever he wants to make them. And if you are reactive enough, you can find it uh, them uh, on his website, uh, Facebook. And you can buy from him for, uh, uh, yeah, almost nine. I, I say $900, you know, but for a custom of that quality, I think it's, uh, it's well deserved. Uh, yeah, as I said, the first impression in hand, uh, I'm looking through the lens of the, 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 the camera, but first impression is absolutely, absolutely awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That is the first impression. Um, the bolster uh, are a titanium, and uh, I can tell you, my friend, that is a really nice titanium. And let me see. Oh, look at that. Let's see under the light if I got it right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Look at that. Uh, he made kind of satin finish here. Uh, here it's bead blast, and here on the choil, there is this satin finish of the very best effect. I, I gotta tell you, and you have the same here on this side. Really, really nice bolsters. The hardware is absolutely excellent. Excellent. The carbon fiber, I went for a uh, uh, lightning strike carbon fiber, uh, looks awesome. Uh, on the very bottom here, uh, a lot of copper lines are missing. So for warranty purposes, uh, Mikael, look at that. <laughs> I need to tell you that uh, it comes straight from the factory, uh, if I may, uh, straight from the shop with uh, some missing. You know, I, I need to grunt a little bit. I need to be to, to, to say some cons because I'm French. So I, I need, you know, to be uh, some uh, kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> a grumpy French, uh, but really, really nice uh, lightning strike. And, uh, you know, here at the frontier, uh, it's very, very nice, almost like you don't see the, 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 the change between the lightning strike and the, the bolster. Uh, absolutely great finish. As of now, I'm really, really stunned. Uh, really stunned. And uh, look at the pivot. It's absolutely excellent. Here at the standoff is huge, huge, huge standoff. The stop pins, look at that. Uh, it makes uh, bigger st stop pins, but <laughs> that, is, that is big enough, actually. That is big enough. Really, really nice. And I gotta tell you that the grind uh, starting now to amaze me uh, before just opening the, 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 the knife. So, handle as of now, on this side, I am absolutely pleased. Uh, frame lock, frame lock side. Uh, awesome, awesome, uh, awesome bit blast finish. I went actually, uh, that's one of the things that he did uh, and I was expecting actually an anodization on the tie. Uh, but I am really, really happy with the way uh, the bead blast, uh, yeah, with the bead blast looks. Absolutely awesome, as of now. Very, very pleased. So, 
let's open this bad boy whoa man is it uh -huh. yeah you know what let's make let's take a momentum now look at this blade for a bit while i'm having my coffee man uh that is an awesome awesome grind it is a very complex grind um, the stone wash is absolutely absolutely awesome awesome stone wash look at that i mean that is a great achievement the the, the stone wash is just perfect and what is to say about those grinds um i can't use my finger sorry but from the upper side from the spine here the upper side look at that the the lines are are horizontal you know horizontal line then you have the double grind and the lines they become vertical then you have this little almost like an arrow here and again the lines become again horizontal whoa uh, down on the stone wash it has to be a hollow grind let me see if i can yes that is a hollow grind and after that here it's a flat for sure that is my friend a really really nice complex grind i absolutely love it uh, as always this i could live without it uh, but it's a nice logo you know what it's a really nice logo the finish is great look at that my friend it didn't whoa it's just excellent excellent finish i love it yeah i could live also without the cpm 154 i'm glad to know it's cpm 154 um, no need to write it here michael but whatever uh, <laughs> that's not what i what you know amazes me when i look at that look at this just beautiful blade you know when you buy a knife most important is the blade so uh, instantly it's becoming one of my favorite one of my favorite let me see uh, ooh, my, uh, 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 wait a minute uh, i'm sorry uh, uh i had the kind of stroke <laughs> almost almost a stroke let me see yes yes you got it you know in the very same moment that i do uh, i need to tell you that i have seen some pics uh, and you don't see uh what you what you need to see on on on, on pic and um uh, let, let me try to bring back my thoughts all together uh yeah i know i know now i know i am blown away as you must you know let me have you know some coffee now because i need this momentum to tell you that i am i, I was already uh, saying that i think that I, i'm gonna listen again to what i uh, to my ramblings but i was saying that th this grind was probably one of my favorite if not my favorite uh, instantly and but look at that it's not the same grind i mean isn't that insane look at this triple grind that's kind of I mean, that's if we need to call that thing something that would be a triple grind one grind here another one here and another one or a swedge call it whatever you need to call it i'd say oh somebody's uh, at the door i don't care <laughs> let them enter i don't care uh, i don't want to make this video uh, uh, a second time so look at that triple grind that is just crazy 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 look at the small 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 recut here oh my gosh is it beautiful i don't i don't know some there is a thief probably in the house i don't really know who's coming but uh, i don't want to stop it uh otherwise uh, i'm really packed so if uh, someone comes in i think that i will there will be it's, it's first used the first use of this knife okay so i didn't know what to think about that but uh, i gotta tell you that this one is my favorite grind and this one became instantly my second favorite if not my first now favorite uh, probably even better than this one i don't know what you, you know leave the comments because i think this one is great and this one is awesome so i wouldn't know i wouldn't know uh this the vertical lines like that the the, the finish is what can i say uh, it's flawless the blade is just flawless my friend and here you have also the frontier here with the the lines that becoming also on the back of the blade yeah you know horizontal and you see really the, the difference between the horizontal line here and the grind uh here oh that deserves 
the 900 bucks that I paid uh, most definitely, most definitely, most definitely. Just awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, I am stoked. I am stoked because uh, really that, that was totally unexpected. Totally unexpected. Believe me, my friends. You know what? I was fooled because I asked Mikael, because I saw one of these uh, one of these uh, knives with a kind of spidey hole, oval spidey hole here. And since I like to have a lot of uh, possibility to open a knife, uh, I asked him to to. Since I saw the knife like that, I said, "Okay, uh, take off the the, the, the logo." <laughs> I wanted to 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 to, <laughs> to find all the solution to to take off this logo. So I said, "Okay, take off the logo. Just put a hole uh, in place." That was the last drop of copy uh, in place of the logo. Uh, and now I was a fool because now I understand why uh, he said that it was not possible. Because here I didn't understand why, but now I understand. No way in hell to put uh, the spider hole, and it's way better this way. Man, uh, it's that. That is really a unique knife for me because that's the first knife that has uh, uh, such a feature like that. I don't know if you guys, you know, leave comment, leave any comments to tell me if you have, uh, if any maker that you know uh, do uh, do this kind of thing because that's really, really, really crazy. Look at that. You, you see the asymmetry here because you have the switch. Let me see if I can focus on it. Come on, come on, you focus. Doesn't want to, but you see what I mean. You, you have. You see it's asymmetric also on the, on the tip, but that's normal because uh, here it's plain and here you have the grind that finishes here. So that, that's really totally unusual, totally unusual for me. The blade is huge, huge, huge. You know what, let's do a, just a small size comparison because uh, uh, I, I am I'm losing my words. I, I don't like to do those kind of uh, unboxing video because you discover the knife, so you don't have any idea about it. Uh, and uh, Probably uh, there are some parts that are not really uh, that interesting uh, for the listeners. So I'm sorry about that uh, if I'm rambling a little bit. But uh, there is also this uh, advantage uh, is that you get to feel the same thing that me uh, when I just open the knife. So let me see with the XM24 because something is really strange. I think that this handle is very small. Uh, let me see. Look at that. Yeah, most definitely. Look at that. How can it be? You know, look at the handle of the, the, the XM24. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, film from here because otherwise you have the angle and uh, you can uh, figure it. Uh, the, the handle is significantly bigger. And look at the blade. If I had to say something, I'd say that the Huggin has a longer blade. So how can it be? Uh, there is something like uh, here that I don't understand, my friend, because when you take the XM24, uh, it takes all the real estate in the handle. All the real estate. So, how can it be that the blade would be as long, if not smaller, as the Huggin, and the handle? Such a difference in the handle. I don't understand how Mikael can put such a big blade in such a small handle. Really, there is something that I don't understand, and uh, uh, there is a kind of a physics problem that I need to solve. Uh, I closed it for the first time and I need to tell you that it's, let me see, um, the flipping action is absolutely awesome. Uh, he went with the bearing, uh, with the bearing uh, pivot, bearing system, only on one side, he said. For whatever reason, I don't know. Let me see. The engagement is kind of nice, kind of nice. Uh, let me, oh my God, is it stiff? Oof, it's totally, ah. Uh. I need to use my uh, second finger now. I hope that I will break it uh, because as of now, it's ooh, stiff as hell. I'm gonna put some pencil. I, I, I will let you know, uh, but uh, it's not the first time that I have some issue like, oh my God. Uh, it, and also the, 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 the ball detent. Uh, you, you, I need to break this knife for sure, but that's the first use. So again, uh, for custom, it's very uh, uh, usual to have uh, those those issues. But first of all, I can tell you that the flipping action is absolutely awesome, 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 awesome. But here, I, you know, it's getting better, it's getting better. But you have to, to really to, to fight against the frame, which is really, yeah, stick. And then you have the, the, the ball detent that, yeah, you need to break it also. But uh, that will be better. It's always already better uh, now. So uh, the blade, just awesome as you as you saw like me 
and uh, some other feature also because already 15 minutes so i'm gonna i need to make it uh, faster look at that the back that was the surprise that was the surprise and i need to tell you that i was stunned when i saw the pictures and now it's even better look at that i mean how how beautiful can that be uh, from the top to the bottom what do we have we have the lightning strike carbon fiber scale then we have the bolster uh, that is on this side okay then after there is a feature that i haven't seen that's the first time also that i see that i see that uh, the liner he decided to go uh, with the liner not in metal but a carbon fiber liner and not only it's the first time that i see that uh, you use a liner uh, i mean you can have a frame in carbon fiber i don't care but this is uh, at, at this place it is used as a liner since you have the carbon fiber and the bolster here usually uh, um, and beneath that you have um, a metal liner here he went for a carbon fiber liner not only it's the first time that i see a liner like that in carbon fiber but uh, look at this color it's an or orange and black what he calls an orange and black carbon fiber and let me tell you that is just 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 absolutely beautiful beautiful from this side and from this side it is an awesome awesome feature awesome feature Mikael, thank you so very much and not only did he go with this liner but it was to be uh, it was supposed to be a standoff uh, you know pedal construction finish on the back and look at what he did the backspacer the really nice in 3d backspacer like that in black g10 so you have lightning strike carbon fiber uh titanium uh, orange and black carbon fiber liner uh black uh carbon fiber uh, uh, black g10 sorry uh backspacer man what can i tell you that i mean the uh aside of now of the blade which is i can tell you that this asymmetrical blade became my favorite of all my life that is for sure that is for sure most definitely uh but uh, aside of that you know this finished on the back of the knife is just 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 awesome just awesome and what is to say about the handle i really like it because you know what it's not as heavy it, let me see it is less heavy than the xm24 i can tell you for those of you guys who go for the xm18 instead of the the 24 because it's too long it's too big i mean you have the feel in the handle with the hugging you have the feel of the xm18 gosh uh, look at the look at the handle really i can tell you if you put that butt to butt here look at that it is really significantly bigger on the xm24 really huh? here it you know because it is bigger that is for sure i don't understand how but it is bigger uh and the uh the line it, it, it's a light knife it's not really a, if you consider the blade which is a huge blade it is really a, a, a light knife and the feel of it you don't need more real estate you have the choice here for your fingers the the index and the, the third finger then you have really nice um grip here still a lot of real estate on the handle so no need it's useless to have a bigger handle uh, even if you want to use this choil to uh to make a, a bigger guard look at that look at the guard that you have here so you put the index here and still you have four finger that is awesome look at that i have my four finger securing the the grip i have so if i need to use it for a tactical uh use i i, I have a really nice um big you know guard a, a bigger guard like that so one position here like that for a tactical you know if you want to be, you know, make a bigger knife uh second position very very ergonomic also this way and then you have the choil here which could have been uh you know uh bigger uh because let me see oh no 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 believe me my friend i i i put some strength you look at my finger it turns uh, its color and I don't cut myself. So I, I'm sure that with a grip like that, it's very secure. I'm sure that this, this toy works perfectly and you won't cut yourself. Let me see. I didn't feel nothing, you see. There is no mark. Uh, this is another mark. I'm sorry, I cut my finger like a hell these days. I don't know why. Uh, so you don't have any mark and you have a really nice for, for a small cutting tax purpose. Look at that, look at how you can operate with this knife. It's just awesome, awesome. 20 minutes, hell uh as you can see i'm overwhelmed with this knife i think that the overview uh, became along the way a review uh, uh yeah the clip let me finish with the clip 
it's, it makes for a really nice, uh, not that really uh, deep carry, but just, just enough. And let me see the retention here. Or really nice retention, believe me, that will hold the knife perfectly in the pocket. So uh, the only thing is that I will need to break the knife most definitely, but uh, I am absolutely stunned with this work. If you if you have the chance to buy one of uh, Mikael's knife, uh, do it because you won't regret it for sure. And that was the first, and uh, to be continued. That won't be the last. Most definitely, that won't be the last. But the next one, I will ask Mikael if he would be so kind not to put all those writings here and here and here and everywhere. So that, that would be the only thing that I would ask for him. Uh, otherwise, I can do whatever he wants. Uh, the result goes over my expectation. expectation, And I really thank you for that, my friend. Mikael, you are a great artist, really nice, great knife maker. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys for another video and Mikael, I'll see you for another order, most definitely. Thank you.